<laughs> Play it live. Who's? Hang on. Well, hang on. What? Where's the drum beat? Well, we don't. We you say something funny and then we drum beat. It's oh. called a cold open. I don't listen to this podcast, so. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's been a while. <laughs> um, I should probably clarify a few things. I'm in Keelan's chair. Jordan's in my chair. Oh, it's and stressful. Rachel, Rachel's in her chair. Um, Keelan is in New York. We basically, re we released Seoul and then Keelan just ran as far as he could. He just booked a random flight and he's in New York and we don't know when he's coming back. Yep. That's an exaggeration, but not. Has anyone actually heard from him? I've spoken yeah. to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's having he a he's us. having a grand yeah. old time. Oh, so he just hates me and then it's fine. Yeah, he's <laughs> not. He's ghosted me as well. It's okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I came out. He did that. He he pissed off. Uh, and he also took a camera. So we've only got two cameras. So if Bloggy hits the two little buttons, so this is it. I'm black. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unless you want to see a black screen. Um, and yeah, sorry. It's been like a month since we lasted a podcast because. I don't know, we were all busy. We were just kind of doing so. It was all getting a little bit intense near the end and, and we just didn't really have anything that we wanted to talk about, even though it's probably valid stuff. Mm. But Rachel's here now, Hi. so we got loads to talk about. And last time you were here, we were going to do a podcast with you and then we kind of just didn't. And it was like, you know, Rachel hasn't done that much and now you've done loads. So What the fuck have I done? <laughs> well, it was like a good few months ago. Actually, no, yeah, 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 yeah. A, lot, a lot's happened, so... Um, yeah, this is where you remind me of everything that I've done. I go, oh yeah, I forgot about yeah, that. Oh, yeah. I've actually I done did do something. Life. How are you doing? I'm I'm good. I kind of sound like a 60 year old smoker right now. I was thinking <laughs> earlier, you sounded a little bit hoarse and I was like, what's wrong with her? I've just come back from being at a festival for three days and I was dying from like the dust inhalation. Oh really? I was in like a dance tent till like 3 a.m. and there was dust everywhere. And I was very drunk, so I was not like aware of how much dust was in my lungs until I woke up and just could not speak. This Stop. is truck fest, right? Truck fest, yeah. And didn't I used to be just like, how how did it? How is truck fest a thing? I mean, it's like I think it's the biggest like almost accidental fest, like small festival, because I think it started out kind of just like a little truck like, trucking convention no i don't think I, I didn't know i just know that it started off kind of small then it kind of accidentally got big yeah and it sounds like, like it's like you know a load of lorry it's drivers still get not together. big though it's still really small they just get a really good lineup yeah okay. i've never heard of it what type of music was there it's like mostly like indie rock kind of okay. yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. but they had nothing got like, nothing with thieves the year before right yeah oh, oh really yeah. that was the, that was the one that i bought the tickets for but then it got cancelled and I forgot to get a refund and then I ended up with tickets for this one. I didn't like their lineup as much, but I still enjoyed it, mm, but yeah. I really, really Got cancelled due to COVID or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So they just said, said something inappropriate and got cancelled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm getting texts from the wife. Uh, where are we going? Truck Fest. Truck Fest. Yeah, because the other one is Tank, I swear there's Tank Fest. And that I don't think is quite a festival, but like you go and look at tanks, but people go and get hammered. Like they have alcohol. Yeah. I wish amazing. there was like, trucks. I actually yeah. met met a motors fan at the. Uh, and you met oh, uh, you said that, didn't in you? the yeah. pit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just in the pit in the dance tent, going absolutely mental. Were you just on your ones, like on your own? Just I, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was there with my, my friend who I was actually started parkour with. He doesn't train anymore though. But I was in the pit, running, do a flip. This other guy, I saw him do a side flip at one point. But then I just like, mosh pit goes in and he just jumps me. He's like, yo, that was sick. And he goes, oh wait, you're from Motors. And I was like, yeah, come on, like, yeah, sick. Wait, but Bloggy, you got spotted the other day, right? Mm, that was really weird. <laughs> Randomly in Paddington, a guy came up to me and was like, oh, you're David Bloggy. And I was like, uh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, you're from Motors. I'm like, Did something's he, happening. Had he actually seen your face or had he just heard your voice on no, the podcast? No, he, he recognized, he like, pointed at me you were sending a voice message and he was like i recognize those no tones. no he he um yeah he's from bristol area nice like, he knows phil he's called ed that's all i know what i love ed. wait he knows phil who's actually called ed no he knows phil doyle <laughs> oh his name is ed, ed. Yeah. Okay. how old is he uh i don't know yeah. i literally was like walking past him had a brief interaction yeah. then he unfollowed me and followed me to like oh wow yeah, just to get he's yeah. probably listening to this podcast now really embarrassed yeah, maybe maybe yeah. Yeah. But no, he, and he's, you know, like this class thing, you're like, he's really cool. Like I went on his Instagram and I was like, That's this cool. guy's really Sick cool. Guy. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> like, I wonder yeah. if people think, like, do you think people think that gone like yours and like, 
Because I do that. You go on somebody's Instagram, you're like, oh, that's a cool person. Yeah. Uh, like, does anyone think that about? Mate, I, like, I, <laughs> I've had it in just in person where someone like asks me for my Instagram. Like, they come up to me like in person, like in a in like a bar or something, and they're like, hey, like, what's your Instagram? You're really, your life like, is so much more exciting than mine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a just, bar and a mosh just, pit. It's just because I'm a woman. Oh, okay. I genuinely think, but you know, like, if you're like, if you see like someone you're interested, you go up to them, they come up to me and they're like, oh, what's your Instagram? And I feel fucking awkward. Cause I'm like, just know for, for a fact that when I give it to them, they're gonna look it up and be like, Whoa, what? Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I just see their reaction of just like, yeah. uh, okay. Well, here's you um, in a frog hat doing like gaps. Doing yeah, cat yeah, crawls. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I never Quiet. had to react. Luckily for me though, when that person recognized me as Chuck, at Chuck, I was completely wasted, like off my face. Like, nice. I, <laughs> hi mom, hi dad. Um, <laughs> because I'm so terrible socially when that happens. Yeah, we get normally. it a lot. Like a lot of gigs we've been to, we've bumped into people who've been like, oh, you're like my motor. So okay, like we had architects. We yeah, spotted yeah, yeah. Our, actually, we spotted a guy at architects wearing a Story t-shirt and a, uh, had a chat with him and he was, he knew who Mertz was, but he was story. I think he like knew Toby from school. He said he used to like copy Toby's homework or something, <laughs> but he, I think he was Stora's first ever like customer. Or wow. Like when they first released their oh, shirt, cute. he that's got the first though. order. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he's just like one of their old mates. But yeah, I've, I, I've been in a pit once and some guy was like, oh, you're Jaws. And I went, yeah. And I was like, and I was trying to, at the time I was trying to crowd surf. And yeah. you know when you're in a pit and you, well, you don't because you haven't been well, a fucking gig with us. I know, right. But, so, um, not my fault. You know when you're in a crowd surf and you kind of got to like tap people on the shoulder and be like, give me a leg up. Mm. So I was like trying that and no one was like fucking, you know, turning around. Yeah, yeah. And then this guy turned around and was like, oh, you're Jaws. And I was like, yeah, nice to meet you. Can I have a leg up? And he was like, yeah. And they just like shut up. <laughs> I was like, get away. <laughs> I haven't actually crowd surfed yet. I'm generally like. Really? No, I, I, I would. But also I'm just like, oh, that many people touching Gro me. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't know how I feel. Gropey. But I've you had people crowd surf over me. Easy life crowd surf over me and I touched this butt. But like I had to, to keep to stop him from falling yeah, yeah. down. Of course you know? you've got to just yeah. But yeah. I think that's a pretty good like brag now. I um, had a very, very, very minimal amount of hand contact with Ian Watkins of Lost Profits. Oh. <laughs> As in, do you, do you know about Ian Watkins? Yeah, not not a good person to them. I mean, this was much, much, much prior to him then raping babies. But oh my geez. God. Sorry, what? <laughs> um, so Lost Profits. Right. You know, the, uh, like I've heard the band of them. Mate, back in the day, Lost Profits, everyone loves the podcast when we just talk about music. Yeah, I, yeah, everyone yeah. stops listening. Lost <laughs> Profits were, before all the allegations, considered a very sort of good rock, heavy-ish, like for that era, for that era. What and was their like went, top era? Last Train Home, um, Shinobi versus- what year, you're, No, but what years are we talking about? So I about? saw them at Reading at like 2006, 2007 I genuinely maybe. feel like any rock, indie, like main bands from anywhere between 2000 to 2010, now is just like, you just don't go there. You just don't. It's like they're insane. so dodgy. So he, he literally raped babies. I mean, this is dark to talk oh, about on the podcast, but fuck. literally very small children like coerced the mums and like they were down with it and shit. And he's now in prison for like life or whatever. And yeah. the band obviously- oh, good. Never, And it's just one of those things where it's just like, no, that band overnight, no one listens to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I crowd surfed at Reading and like, kind of, you know, you're like, yeah, like that. Yeah. And, and I used to be like, ah, oh, because you could see it in one of the videos. And I used yeah. to be like, that was me, that was me. And now I'm like, <laughs> nope, I <laughs> regret that. <laughs> for some reason I'm now That's talking about it. That's atrocious. Anyway, um, should we talk about actually things that yeah. important? We'll talk about things you actually care about. So now. bananas. Oh, I freaking love bananas. That was the first thing I said, what we talked about and you said bananas. So. I always said that as a joke, but we can talk. <laughs> uh, you've, to be fair, you said bananas have helped you lean up and you're looking, <laughs> I saw some abs. <laughs> So no, yeah. That's uh, all due to bananas as well. Charles is staying in my house, guys, help me. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to do that. No, I just, Charles asked what I was talking about. Well, I was just trying on like uh, the new clothes and stuff. And I just said that because I've been traveling, haven't been eating like enough, but I've just, <laughs> just been eating bananas. Just been eating bananas nice. and yogurt. And I, I just genuinely think just because I've eaten bananas and yogurt, I've just become hench. It must be nice to eat bananas. I just can't. Oh yeah. yeah I can. But like, you I die. get a bit it's itchy from it. Yeah. No, it's always the last bite that I feel like I'm going to be sick. Really? But like, I still like, it's like Weetabix. But that's why you chop off the end and you give it to your dog. That's what I do. <laughs> I don't have a dog. You know, the like little devilly bit, yeah, the squishy bit. Often, you know, you know bruised yeah, and squishy yeah, yeah. and that's rank. Yeah, yeah. Moral of the story, uh, go traveling, eat nothing but bananas and yogurt, get hench and shit everywhere. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> Good. Yes. Yeah, okay. Good start. Next topic. Yeah, yeah that's about right. Most podcasts do talk with poo talk, so start, start <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, 
All right, let's let's throw it back to Sol. So if anyone listening to this and has made it this far past the the, the rape and the poo talk, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, your parents, your poor parents. Sorry, mum. Um, so we released Sol finally. It it took its time, but it it came out. Thank you to everyone who has uh, purchased and supported. Fuck you to the people who've bought it and then sent it to many many other people. Yeah, yep. that's not I cool. have a thing that tells me I mean Giles you know. were looking through all the different IPs and yeah yeah. yeah. It's not thankfully not many that many people have done it but if yeah. you have and then their shit gets blocked yeah, yeah. yeah so if you paid 8 quid or 10 quid and then sent it to loads of people and now you can't access your film it's because there is a thing in the description that says if you send this around your shit will get blocked and you don't get your money back so fuck you um, like, anyway it's like, yeah like we get it if you're if you're buying it to then watch in person with like your yeah. mates a couple of mates yeah. yeah and it's like vibe. yeah that's yeah, fine yeah. but if you're no, sending there's people it who have to literally like just gone, hey. 16 people yeah. yeah that's not cool like, you know maybe on. send it to your dad but you know not your whole friend group like i can't <laughs> lie i did send it to my mom oh <gasps> No, um, I sent it back to my dad's email, but I watched it with them, so fine, I think it's fine. justified. Uh, and also you're in it. So. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> but, but yeah, so something that has been raised numerous times in the editing process, uh, kind of by Keel and Sam, et cetera, people, I guess, who were on Soul, because um, I wasn't there, is that you've basically progressed, ma- I mean, everyone, this is like, like people like Travis as well have progressed massively mm. in the last year, but you were definitely one of those people who like, your movement in Soul compared to now is like, your, I feel like this last year has been fucking good for you. Yeah, no, I've, like had, I've, I've had a really good year. Just, I think, um, cause I spent most of the winter training in Nova City. Yeah. Cause I was working there and living in Sheffield. It's just, just, Sorry, just did you just hit me? I heard that. Was, <laughs> that was so weird. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, no, I think that just being able to train through the winter like properly has yeah. been really nice. I know I struggled a bit with just motivation. I think everyone does. Yeah. Um, but I think now that this summer I've just come back out and I think my confidence has just gone up a lot as well. Yeah. But I think now that Soul's come out, I do look at some of the clips and I'm like, yeah. It's always the way. It's so tough with projects that you have yeah. to sit on for a while. The thing is, I'm still very, very proud of it. And it's very nice to just look back at it. It's, kind of, it's almost nice to look back on it and oh, go, that was sure. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's it worse. shows you that you've like developed and changed like no. in that time. But I also think it's the, the funniest part to me is that me and Sol, like when we're filming, compared to me in the interview, compared to me now. So I mean, hair, hair is definitely the biggest factor. I think it's because I'm almost constantly changing my hair. Yeah. yeah. But I've had this for the for a very long that, time. That that color, but you've just cut it, right? Yeah, I've just yeah. cut it off. I uh, it was all dead and dying. Um, is that because you slaughter it with dye <laughs> by any chance? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Is. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I just thought it was really funny, like just comparing the interview i feel like uh you generally could have some people who are like see me into the interview and they're like is this person even in the film yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like keelan on soul destroyer you know like every clip he's either got an afro skinhead or like somewhere in yeah, between you know it's yeah, just it's constantly like changing yeah, yeah and like vloggies are good either. like i swear some people i feel like you for example and probably me my hair gets a bit longer than a bit shorter yeah, yeah. but we've kind of found like our standards yeah, yeah, and yeah, now yeah. we're too scared to change it yeah Bloggy's had 15 different hairstyles yeah. since I've known him. I, I had like a transition. Band on because I know I'm going to have to tie my hair back soon and yeah. then I'll shave my head. So yeah. Well, yeah, because you used to have really, really long hair, didn't you? Mm. I yeah. saw some photos of when he first turned up and his hair was like down here. Wow. It's so interesting. And then other people were just com- like, someone like uh, Max's changes a bit. Yeah. But yeah. like Johnston or George, pretty much always, pretty the always same. been the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah George as well. Yeah. yeah. Johnston. Um, yeah. But going back to Nova City, you, I remember seeing you at Nova, which was what, February? Yeah, yeah, just early February. And think, because I hadn't seen you in a while and being like, fucking hell, because there was like stuff you were doing in the skill, was it skill comp, I think? Mm, yeah. Like that I was just like, whoa, because yeah, your confidence was like, I think it was like the the the, the 180s, like boom, 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 really high. And you just like sent that so casually. And it's like, obviously, because you've been there so often, you've probably done that a load of times before. But I was just like fucking impressed. I was like, wow. Yeah. I actually had such a weird, like, what's it called? Vendetta. Like I had this hatred for those 180s. Really? Because I've actually b- I bounced them before. Uh, <laughs> the okay. top all the way down to the bottom. And like, oh, wow. it, it's a lot to take. Yeah, that's so not. So I was very, it took me, in I, that skill comp, I was shaking. But uh, I was like, if I do this at the end, I'm going to bounce it. So I might as well do it first. First, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, my 180 game isn't great but it got a bit better um but yeah i was really really happy with how the first round of the skill comp went yeah like, 
it just shut my confidence up and then I absolutely just butchered the, set, the round two. But <laughs> it's fine, like I still managed to somehow get through on style and then came mm. third on that. Yeah. yeah, I had that written down. You got, yes, you got third on that. That was sick. But yeah, I just remember being like, wow, Rachel's like really stepped it up. And I think living next to a gym is definitely- Oh yeah, I'm it's like, there, like just being able to train through the winter anywhere gives you such a leg up, I think. Yeah, yeah. and being, like access keeping, to bars and things. And like, like especially a good gym together. as well. Like, yeah. Mm. yeah. And like, yeah, just good gym, good training. I had like Liam and Elise there. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, Elise only came in like once a week cause she, when she had a class. But then we like, she always came in the day that I, finish work early uh, so okay. like while i do work finish work early i was like oh well, lisa's in so i still got to stay yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. fucking old time anyway and then i got to spend like so much time with liam and stuff and Sick. it was really really nice nice i miss my house though i'm so sad <laughs> yeah, wait where are you living now uh well living is like <laughs> a loaded question <laughs> um my stuff is all in my parents house but i think i've been there for the maximum of like three days because yeah, like, you've two been months pretty much everywhere recently haven't you yeah yeah so i spent a, a month in sweden and then came back and then spent some time in bilbao and then went to prague yeah what were they jams um as in for, were you were out there for a reason or were you just traveling for which one so bill either I guess. Uh, bilbao, that was when we were filming for project oh, next gen yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah yeah sorry and then prague i got invited out to a jam yeah, which was the okay. inmotion one which was so much fun it was really nice yeah i've always wanted to go to that gym and I had an opportunity once and then I didn't go. And I'm an idiot. Sort it out. Turns <laughs> yeah. out there's like four gyms. I know. And I Prague. got confused. Yeah. Wow. They're didn't all in that. motion. And I got confused on which one's which. And they're then just I'm like, look amazing. Idiot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, they're all really nice. And the people there are lovely. A bit crazy, but. That's Prague. That's yeah. usual, that's, that's isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, let me just, oh, crash my phone into the thing. Oh, you said motors gave you Tourette's. <laughs> what do you mean? You just swear a lot. No, no, no. This is a, this is actually like, a thing that like, I didn't know if I wanted to talk about, but. I mean, you um, raised the point, so we're going in now. It was just like a, it was that, that was just like an offhanded comment, but it is like genuinely true. Um, but this is why I was saying like, Keelan's witnessed the whole thing. So that's why I was saying it would be good if Keelan was here, not Jordan. Oh, well, sorry guys. I'm kidding. I'll just go back to Norway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I posted on my story uh, when people asked me about Seoul. I put some questions up and someone uh, put like, oh, why weren't you in it like that much? So I just put up a post out which would be like, anxiety. And then I followed it up by saying like, in all seriousness, like uh, I really struggled with just being like, like comfortable, comfortable on the tour. Yeah, and like, yeah. I really struggled with like uh, imposter syndrome yeah. and like f feeling like I wasn't good enough to be there. Um, just because it's like, I think it was so overwhelming for my first tour, being the only girl as well. Yeah. Like yeah. I really thought like, oh, I'll be fine. But it was Surrounded a lot. Surrounded by absolute degenerates <laughs> half the time. Like. It was a lot, <clears throat> not, I don't want to say worse because I still enjoyed the tour obviously, but it was a lot more than I was expecting. And I didn't think that being the only girl on the tour was going to affect me as much as it did. Yeah. And I think that was pretty overwhelming. Yeah. But like, even just things like the first night of camping, I got my period, like the first night. So nice. I woke up and I was like, fuck. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, no toilets, anything. I was fucked. So, so I look out the tent and I'm like, <laughs> everyone, I'm like, hey you guys. And there's like no sympathy from all the guys. Are like, yeah. Hey I guys. I found a stick. <laughs> <laughs> and my stuff is all in the car, which is like up this massive hill. Oh. And, um, I couldn't go obviously because yeah. TMI, but if you just get me put in the seat, you wait, if you stand up, it just all goes to shit. So you gotta like- Stay horizontal. Stay horizontal, right? So I sit my head out and I'm like, guys, so yeah, I just got my period, my stuff's in the car. Does anyone want to go get it? Dead silence. <laughs> nice. Dead silence. Everyone just looks at all me like- All the color drains uh, from their faces. Like. like they just don't know. Like that, it's almost like I spoke Spanish to them. Yeah, They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after maybe like a minute and a half of just them being like, and then we'd be like, uh, uh, please. Uh, <laughs> Sam was like, oh, okay. So I was like, thank <laughs> fuck. If I guess anybody, I'd guess Sam to sort it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. He, he was like the only one who made Fucking any hell. effort to help. But anyway, yeah. Uh, and he came back, sorted my shit out. It was great. And everyone packed up all their tents and just left. <laughs> I was left behind wow. carrying everything. They all Guys. knew that I just like, 
Wow. What state I was in then, and then I carry everything, walk all the way up to the top of the hill. Yeah. I just dump everything down. Travis goes, Rachel, not gonna lie, you are faffing. <laughs> quality, the typical Travis right there, that's quality. So Travis um, is the faffer. Right? <laughs> I know, right? But- um, Two seconds, test, 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 test. test there we test, go. Test. And my headphones are a sl- are more basically fancier than yours and actually it's quite loud on me. Oh, I'm a sensitive soul. No, it's fine. It's I always end up having to turn um, them. But that's like kind of the reason I'm not like in the first bit a lot because I was in such a horrifically bad mood. Like wow. I still had so much fun, but like we did Everyone's the- like, the Highlands was amazing. And you're like, get me fucking home. <laughs> yeah, no, the thing is the Highlands was still my favorite part. That was just like extra stress yeah. that I don't think the guys were even prepared for yeah, in yeah. terms of like, me being like, I need to do this and this and this and this and this yeah, before yeah. like shit goes wrong. And then they're like, pretty stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the waterfall, it's all pretty. Oh, and I'm like, sheep. Ah, I don't know, yeah. it's gonna, everything's gonna go wrong. What's your opinion on the sheep clip? Should it have gone in the film? <laughs> no. No, okay. No, right, right. that would, are we allowed to Do talk people about know? this? We're not, we're not talking about, we're not going into detail. I'm just asking no. you the sheep okay, clip. I've already created some suspicion of what yeah. that means. People are going to talk about sheep clip. Yeah. Had a very fun no, I'm very glad. It's not that bad. The sheep clip not that did bad. not go in. <laughs> it's not that bad, it's We're going to get people asking me what the sheep clip is and I'm just going, yeah. mm, no. The thing is, just for clarification, I have nothing to do with the sheep clip. Yeah, neither do I. I wasn't even there. So don't ask me about the sheep clip. There are so many ways, there's so many ways it could be so much worse. Yeah, yeah, true, fair. Like um, this is a cheeky little. Yeah. This is what this is this is what I had to deal with the whole time, just that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was torture. I'm kidding. I love everything. Trust me, so Amer- America was something that is scarred into my mind, <laughs> my mind. like in a, in a great way, but also just like Jesus Christ, I actually put myself and Sarah, like Sarah, that was our first proper trip with those guys, and it was like, what have I done? Jesus, I can <laughs> like, what have I done? Um, also younger and a lot more immature as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not a lot more immature, but yeah. I yeah. remember being in the car and actually talking to Camilla and just being like, <laughs> just, Camilla, yeah, because I, I, I wish we could have got Camilla she on. Was, I was so upset that she wasn't yeah. there, but I was just, I just remember talking to her and being like, Camilla, I wish you were here, like, help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, I love all the guys dearly, but it was a lot, it was a lot. Definitely. Um, but when it came to training, I think uh, that was probably the hardest part, especially at the start, just because I, I don't know, I, I was there and then everyone's obviously going crazy hard. And then there's obviously like, I I can't do that. Yeah. But also it's like, I found it so difficult to like, I felt like if I did anything, it wasn't gonna hold up. So I mm. was like, I wanna, oh, I'm getting famous. Oh. I was like, I wanna train, but if I do train and it's not good enough, then it's gonna go in the film and I won't be happy with it. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And then like also just me training, just in general, like I felt like I had to go as hard as I could else it wouldn't be valid yeah. for it. I get what and you mean. It was a yeah. really, really hard it's thing. It's the hardest thing with group projects because it's yeah. like, they're spe- when you're shooting like, I don't know, a big thing like Resurgence or whatever, Soul Destroyer, everyone's like, given the A game. But what I always liked about tours is that hopefully it's not, it's like, we were just, you know, everyone's just training. That and pressure isn't captured. on as much. But yeah, yeah. I think there is always that subconscious, like, oh, Max has just done that. Yeah. Or like someone's just done that. And then it's like, oh, well now there's a bar. And it's yeah, like, yeah, fuck, yeah. like, it's really hard to like pull people away and be like, the bar doesn't matter. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. about yeah. your shit. I get like, what you mean though, because I definitely felt that on Soul Destroyer. Like yeah. the first, the first few days of shooting in London, like I was so up for just being as immature as the boys. Cause that, you know, that's just how we, but in terms of training, like the first few days was definitely, cause I mean, I'm going to admit it, you know, like uh, certain things, you know, I'm not as good as George and certain things, etc. So some of the runs and lines I was doing, I was just like, this is shit compared to like what they're doing. But mm-hmm. then I had to kind of get past that and realize oh, I've got my own sort of stuff. I've got yeah. my own style. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like people want to see the individual do their individual thing. Yeah, exactly. They're not, they're yeah. No, like no one's watching a clip of Rachel and going like, well, that's not as good as like George. Comparing line. it to like, George. Like, yeah, yeah, George exactly. line Someone George literally line. commented on my running pre saying like, oh, but Jane May twisted it really easily. So. Oh, oh, wow. How can you be that? The, the oh. Bristol one. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, Christ. I get it. But at the same time, it's, that was also just something that was hard. It's like, you can see that I'm like putting my everything yeah, into that. Yeah. But I, when that running pre happens, it's after Ed's flipped it, 
Jaden Zay twisted it. Sam yeah, Sweet so twisted it's hard. it. It's, it must and be. then it goes, oh, or Rachel's going to jump it. Yeah. And it's like, it's it was so hard for me to just appreciate that for so long. Yeah. Just because of like, how hard it was for me I to I love that clip that. though. It's such a like, your reaction's so Wholesome genuine. moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it nice. was really wholesome. It had taken me so, that much time with the trip to then finally push myself enough because like the whole time before, like I just didn't feel comfortable pushing myself because I didn't want it to be, I almost didn't want it to be clear that I was pushing myself because it would have made me feel worse. Yeah, I get Because you mean, if yeah. it's obvious that I'm trying really hard on something that everyone does as a warm up. Yeah, and if somebody then makes that comparison. Yeah, and, and then yeah. people are going to make that comparison and then it's like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, but why would you make that comparison? It just makes you it's a like, shit person. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's almost like I, I, I'm subconsciously making that comparison myself. Yeah, yeah, I get that. You can make the comparison yourself, but you know, like, yeah, any outside yeah. person like I guess, doing that I guess yeah it's like if, mm. if you make the comparison because I, I mean I'll do the same with not necessarily movement but it's like yeah. it, once you have an insecurity it's so easy to assume that everyone else is uh, yeah, yeah, having true, that yeah. thought yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's, it's like, I think that's something that I've, I've struggled with for ages and even even now I admit I find it hard but like on the tour it was a very big learning moment and it mm. was probably the hardest part of the tour especially because like just that the whole time like from when I got sponsored by Motors, like this is where the Motors gave me Tourette's thing. Yeah, wait, so yeah, yeah, what is this? I, um, I forgot I forgot that's where we came into this. So we can start back in 2020. Um, so I, when I first got sponsored by Motors, obviously I was fucking gassed, so happy um, because it was like my dream. And then there's the announcement of like the silhouettes. Yeah, yeah. And... I remember the comments being like, obviously some people think it's me, but then I had people saying to me like, ha, ha, do you see how many people think that you're the new Motors oh. athlete, lol? And I was just like, I obviously knew it's me. And I was like, oh, so that <laughs> immediately puts into my brain, you're not good enough you to know, be a yeah, Motors yeah, athlete yeah, yeah. kind of thing. And then I get announced and then there's the, yeah, well, you only really got it because you're a girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, you only I'm got girl. it because you're getting views kind of thing. And then there was so, so much, like, um, I, like, knew I wasn't the first choice of one of the athletes, and that made things even worse. Yeah. Because it was like, oh, well, I wanted to deserve it because someone else was supposed to be at first. And I'm like, that adds up. And then... <laughs> Then we ended up in Brighton on a on a trip, and I think we just like I was with Keelan and Sam and some of the others. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've been like thinking about it for a while. Of like, that's where I've had the struggle of like, I'm not good enough to be like on this team. And I was talking to Keelan like just about motors and stuff. And then like the day at like one of the days we just went out, and I'm just at Brighton, and I had the worst panic attack, like mental breakdown ever just fully in public like on the pier i like because of the, the, all that all yeah. of this and just because like because this is still like fresh and people are coming up to me and being like oh sick that you're on motors and stuff but every time i was hearing motors it's in your head it was yeah. like in my head like i'm not good enough to be yeah, yeah, yeah. and then i had this horrible like breakdown I was like shaking on the pit and I, it was it almost looked like a seizure. And Sam was like about to call an ambulance because I'm like on the floor, like shaking, twitching, like freaking out, yeah. crying. It was that bad. And then Keelan's just there like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> but, um, everyone was like super nice, obviously about it. But then after that, uh, the word motus became a trigger for me really and, and like er, i couldn't even say it because it got that bad of like it freak you out it freaked me out that much just even saying it that it could like trigger a panic attack so i couldn't say it for it's ages so crazy so you never even like you didn't i didn't know, know any of this. this like i know you've dealt with some like anxiety and stuff over the past and like we've had like i guess like brief little yeah you know and like pre-comp talks and stuff but mm. like yeah i didn't know any of that yeah and it's like i feel like it's like something that should be talked about because it's like, that I don't know, I just felt like that much pressure, not just with the whole being a girl thing, but I really like, cause I'd only been training for like two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like maybe even like a year and a half, I think at that point. 
Yeah, I can't remember because we spoke. I remember we, so, we did your timeline on the last podcast, didn't we? we yeah, did. it was so just overwhelming. Like, oh, I'm just not this from that. But then I ended up in like actual therapy because of it. What have we done? <laughs> <laughs> um, Destroyed Rachel. And after the first panic attack, um, I'd obviously had it. It looked like I was having a seizure within my, within my body, and every time like I got almost nervous, I started having these like ticks. These ticks and twitches. And um, obviously I was back in therapy and I'm trying to like, sort out like what the fuck is going on. Like my parents don't, don't know any of this by the way. So if they're listening, I'm really sorry. I never told you. I just nice. didn't want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, then they diagnosed me with like um, anxiety induced yeah, yeah. Tourette's. So like if I started to get anxious, then I start twitching. And wow, then so I you have literally like, meant, because I thought you just meant like, oh, I hung around with the guys too much and now I swear too That's much. exactly yeah, what I thought it was. No, it's, no, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. it's like, it's not really verbal ticks anyway. I have like ones in my hands as one of them. Oh, one is in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I have like neck damage here yeah. now because of it. Um, what, like little, um, like muscle, like- Yeah, you, muscle, yeah, because, yeah. and I, ha I have a few verbal ones, but what I've noticed like recently is, because I struggled for ages of like, Oh, I've start. I've like got a bit anxious. I've started ticking. People are now know that I'm ticking. Did I get more see, anxious, and then it goes down. Yeah. Did you see Harry Gallagher, Nightscape, put stuff on his story a while ago about it? No. Because he has a similar thing. Yeah, like, I think I saw. Yeah, yeah, I saw he, that, yeah. he posted yeah, I it. I do know that. I don't know. He basically put a story up, and he was like, "I've never really kind of made this public, and I've sort of always not. I've always tried to kind of hide mm -hmm. it." But he, I don't know if his is like anxiety based or if he just has it all the time. But yeah, like uh, more. I guess yeah, body twitch is yeah, like kind of because yeah. I I think I've noticed it occasionally thinking back to conversations with him. Yeah. Have other things and yeah, he did a sort of in his, I guess as to what you're doing is like it needs to be talked about more. Yeah, I think more yeah, people yeah, do yeah. have it because like, I think people don't realise that it's um it's not it's not something you're born with. You like that is a pivotal moment of that like breakdown that I had in Brighton has just left me with that like. For yeah. life now, and it's not. It's is, that, it, is it for life? Like, is it? Or is it? Well, I, I, you don't know. It's not gone anywhere, but it's moved from just anxiety induced to just general now. But is it like so? I, the word "motus" is that still a trigger? I I've sorted that out, luckily. Um, <laughs> just looking around the room, like, Jordan's yeah. t-shirt, everything. <laughs> <like, laughs> <laughs> no, but um, after a while and a lot of like sorting myself out, um, I've sorted out the whole anxiety side of it so like i get anxious a lot less frequently now um but i still kept a lot of the ticks and twitches and stuff wow. um so it's no longer like anxiety induced it just happens, it just happens yeah but it's like i've come a long way from then that was like when almost anxious, two years though? ago now it gets worse it does get a lot worse when i'm anxious but i've learned how like to deal with it a yeah, lot better yeah. and i've also come to the realization that because I'm more like out there with my personality now, like no one even notices my tics. Mm. No one notices them because I I'm so like, notice, yeah. because like, they're just like, oh, Rachel's just making stupid noises. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, if I'm like, just act how I am and like, I'm just happy and out there, people aren't gonna be like, oh, she's just like, I have like a verbal one that's like, uh, no one's okay. noticed it ever. Yeah, because if you just did that randomly, I'd just assume you were just being- Yeah, you know, because I'm make so- that noise. <laughs> Because like, the so amount of times like, we're probably just seeing like, 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 yeah, 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 like yeah, you just yeah. say things. Like. It's just because I'm so like weird and out there now because I've come become more confident in myself. That's like no one. Yeah, if, if you were a shy and little thing anymore. and you started chirping, it would be like yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think the reason it got it would get so bad to the point of it being noticeable is because I told myself that it's noticeable. Yeah. But now it's like yeah, no one really cares. No. And I've got much better with it. Um, I think it's pretty yeah. easy to just not, no, no, it's not easy, but it's like, it's the, the reality of actually like most people don't care about you mm. in general, like anyone, mm. unless you're kind of doing something that is like, you know, straight up just off offensive or like kind of irritating. Yeah, things. Yeah, it's like, yeah, if you yeah. just exist, you're pretty, you're pretty, pretty all right. Huh? Yeah. Just, um, just, just chilling. Yeah. Would you prefer to have ticks or like sort of your standardized anxiety where you feel like you're, you know, scared or ticks. gonna die. Yeah. Cause like. To me, it, like, yeah. I, cause I don't get ticks, but I could go through periods where I feel fucking. I, I, I had really horrible. bad anxiety that whole time, but, um, and it was genuinely like the fucking worst. I hated it. Um, but at least like 
I think the ticks made my anxiety worse, but now that I'm like aware that no one cares, yeah, no one notices yeah. when it's happening, that I'm like so much like, more chill. More chill. Like I still get anxious, but like n- nowhere near as much. Yeah, and it's like I'm still probably gonna struggle with it when it's like. Yeah, I feel like I, competing I, and like intimidating stuff. Like probably if we did another project, I still get anxious, but I know a lot like how I'm gonna deal with it now. Yeah. Which is nice. The thing I found with anxiety is like, once you have it once, like my, I remember my first ever, like what I would now assume was like what people would consider an anxiety attack. But at the time I was like, what the shit is wrong with me? I'm yeah. dying kind of thing. But it's like, <laughs> once you've almost felt that feeling and like stepped into that like headspace, I think from that point, it's so much hard, easier to return to it. Yeah. I think you get the occasional, yeah, 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 yeah. you get the occasional person who's had it once and then like never again. And they're just like, oh, I had a weird day, yeah. but like, there is like a certain feeling and mentality that you can fall into now. From That's where I ended up it. with the motors being a trigger for. Yeah, yeah, me. because you, it's, yeah, you have. Because I had that one like really bad one. And then anytime anyone would talk about it or I'd like hear it, I couldn't like say it. And do you it get like, the anxiety of anxiety? Yeah. So like, cause and I, that's what made my so the anxiety worse. of anxiety and it's, it's such a legit thing. It's right. cause you, have you ever had anything? I've never had like yeah, any so like, anxiety attack or panic attack. It's yeah. the weirdest thing where like, I've had some really bad ones on planes where mm. like, I, I'm not, I wouldn't say when I've had a- anxious things, I'm, I'm like a visual, you yeah. know, I'm freaking out kind of thing. I'm very in my head, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dying, whatever. Like, cause I worry, I fucking worry that I'm allergic to shit. Yeah, that yeah, I've yeah. eaten a hundred times before and like stuff like this. Or, and planes are bad for me because I am i can't get off. Yeah, Like I'm trapped next to strangers and it's not like I'm scared of the plane crashing. Like sometimes I am whatever, but like- you Don't have the freedom. It's more, kind of. yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. like kind of, that's why I like the toilet. This, yeah. You know, safe, <laughs> safe water. Safe place. Um, safe place. But uh, so Sam done that on you. We need to do that. We should do so that game on the, the podcast game. one time. That would be sick actually. Yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a, like a- You can't give too much away. Yeah, but, it's a yeah. game that you do where you, you list some stuff like your favorite things and then it reveals something about yourself yeah. that we did in Greece with Emily and then now Sam has been doing it on loads of people. You do like your favorite color, your favorite animal and then your favorite, favorite body, body of water. water. Can, yeah. we, can we do this now? We can do it afterwards. <laughs> Can't really do it. I mean, we could, but it would, might be a bit. It's a bit yeah. long, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, Sam, yeah. Okay, you want to do it with Sam? He's very good at yeah. it. Okay. But anyway, um, but now I'll get on a plane and what I'm scared of is not the plane or anything like this. I get scared that I'm gonna have an like, I'm gonna yeah. get anxious on the plane. Yeah, okay. So I feel yeah. nervous before getting on the plane, not because I'm worried about a specific thing, but because because I'm, you're scared of that. Happening. I'm scared yeah. about falling into that headspace, which oh. in turn puts you in that headspace. It's so, all, yeah. it sucks. It sucks. That was me going to like literally any parkour event. Yeah. And there's so many times like recently where I've just been at a at a parkour event and people are like, oh, I met you at all this parkour event, and this one, and I'm like think back to how I was at that parkour event and go, yeah, there's no way of me remembering anyone because the only thing I was thinking about was like, right, you just can't say anything weird and you can't get anxious. Like, yeah, you're yeah, just gonna yeah. like an idiot. So people are like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. And I'm like, hi. Uh, I've, just had a, I've just had a really funny moment actually. Well, only funny because of the irony of it, that one for the love of movement a good few years ago, winter one, was it winter where you had your allergy thing? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of those, right? I ate some of their food, which was really nice, got convinced that I was allergic to something in it. And I went and I thought my, I think it was spicy and I thought my mouth, I've just, I've always had this thing about worrying that I'm gonna be allergic to something. Yeah, and like yeah, being yeah. in a foreign country. And I thought my mouth was like, gonna, gonna my throat was gonna close yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And I went and lay in my little bunk thing and like lay there for probably like an hour. Just, and I remember people like coming over and sitting near me and like had to have conversations. And I was just like in my like, head, just no. like, are you all right? Are you all right, ladies? Your mouth? Like having a little freak out. Yeah, and at the yeah, same yeah. time, probably you were on the other side of the room actually experiencing that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, did <laughs> like, I tell you that? Yeah, you told yeah, me that. I, story, oh, yeah. mate, that was the worst experience. Yeah, yeah, that was horrendous. I basically had the the chicken or, or whatever it was. It was some like pasta chicken thing, but it was in like a peanut sauce. And I'm severely allergic to peanuts. <laughs> I took <laughs> one bite and Sorry, then for the rest, like literally the rest, no, it's fine. It, it is funny. But the rest of that day, I was literally sitting, like having to suck on like uh, like hard boiled sweets to keep my throat open because I'm sitting there talking to the medics being like, oh, antihistamines, allergy tablets. And they just didn't understand what I was saying. And I went around and spoke to like all the officials. Do you have being an like, EpiPen or something? No, nah, because- nah, he, do- he has one, he doesn't bring it with him. Yeah. You're but, actually but stupid. No, it's, like, <laughs> but it's not hard to avoid peanuts as long as it's like, you know, because 
nowadays like apparently le- it is because you <laughs> ate them no, but legally you have to prove you have to say if something's got peanuts in it's just obvious like you say there's peanuts but yeah, there was so no you should s- probably check no it. but there was no signs or anything like if there's no signs you I'm, could, no, you so could so basically sued. you could sue yeah true yeah, yeah. yeah. no but I, I mean at the end of the day i was training that night and everything was fine i just had a bit of a horrendous like day <laughs> yeah it was all right yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of parkour events so one thing i wanted to ask about and i guess in relation to anxiety but more the fact that you got to go is uh the tempest kings, oh, of concrete. kings of concrete first time in la right yeah that was my first time in america yeah. uh how's that fucking hated it <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding um no it was really nice it was it was like such an experience that it's like it was almost overwhelming yeah but yeah no i was definitely nervous to go because i just i was convinced america wasn't a real place <laughs> turns out it is uh Oh, wow. Did you? What Crazy. did you do? Fly into LA and you just stayed in LA. Yeah, I just stayed yeah. in LA the whole time. And I think going to LA for the first time and being in America is obviously going to be intense. It's yeah. pretty intense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, shout out to Hudson and yeah. his family for like looking after me that whole time. I absolutely adore you guys. You guys are great. <laughs> um, but yeah. So you. America's weird. You qualified, but didn't get f- i can't remember there was something i happened. qualified online and then got out in the first round i was injured anyway so i kind of wanted but to <laughs> you were qualified but then did you have to fly yourself out in the end or? yeah yeah yeah. i had to fly yeah, myself okay. out but like while obviously that's a high expectation to pay for your flight to america to then compete in a competition you're not gonna win it's <laughs> like my outlook on it was it's the perfect excuse to get two weeks of work uh, nice. Especially nice. at like yeah. Nova as well. I'm a competitive me, I'm like, athlete. Yeah. Like, um, I was like told me, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to America because I need to compete in this competition. Obviously, like, I don't want to just go for a week, you know, I'm going to yeah, go for two. Yeah. Yeah, well, make the lag, most you know, of it. You don't make the be... most of it. So that's why I went for. <laughs> in all seriousness, so, um, going, I've been to LA for a week before and it sucks because you get there and you're jet lagged until the day you leave and then you yeah. come home and then you're jet lagged again. I, I jet lag. loved oh, it because oh. I always wake up at like, I'm a, I'm a late waker. But when I was in LA, yeah, I was waking up on time. I was going to bed at 11, 11.30, waking up at 8.30, 8. Oh. It's both late. 11.30 is late. 8.30 is also late. What? You can just fucking get on my level, Rachel. No, <laughs> no. 8.30 I woke, PM. I woke up at 10.38 today. Yeah. 10.38. And then Bloggy came in and was like, rise and shine. So <laughs> I was already awake before he did that. Rise and shine. Everybody um, was chatting so much shit about jet lag when we went to like, uh, went to America for, you know, NAPC and yeah. uh, Woodward and stuff. And I just didn't experience it. Oh, I get it. I, I, I don't I really get it. Do. Like, I get it so much worse coming back. I experienced back it on the way yeah. back. Yeah. But on the, like, while I was there, yeah. I loved it. Cause I was like, I'm making so much of my day. I'm, yeah. I'm getting so much done. Like I feel so productive. I should do this more often. Now I'm back in England. I'm like, wake up early. Yeah. <laughs> no, I still didn't do it. Um, but yeah, so how was the actual, you said you got knocked out first round, but I'm, and I, mm. I remember you sent me the clip, but how is, uh, you didn't send me the clip cause they're not allowed to be leaving. I released. did not share no, any no, haven't seen footage. <laughs> Um, I would never do that. <laughs> nice. Please don't. It was like we, I think it was when I was in Greece, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I've seen the the clips of Ellis and like what? I, I, was it Sydney or um, uh, I've forgotten his name. Michael, the filmmaker, was like, "Who sent it to you?" I was like, "Oh no, well, no. I didn't." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm just yeah, yeah. imagining. But yeah, I, I, I mean, the course looked sick. I'm the very course surprised was good, they did but it, it was out the like. Back terribly thought through really? with it in the way of painting it completely black painting like the bars black and doing it at night no and doing it like having the whole day before being 38 degrees in uh, blazing okay. sunshine you couldn't touch the course without burning yourself yeah, and the bars were black yeah how did you see the bars well, I with, mean, with I your eyes see it with yeah but eyes. you said it was dark but no, they did it at night, but like it wasn't completely dark oh, okay, when they did okay, it. Yeah, yeah. But because the bars were black during the day, you could not touch them. Jesus. Yeah. Like I ended up getting like six rips on my hands. Yeah, and I, melting, I yeah. was yeah. icing the bar. I put ice on it and then put the t- SMT towel over and then like practicing my line and got Liam to like take it out the way wow. when I tried to wow. get on the bar. But it was, I didn't get to run through my whole line at all before I did it. Nice. Not once because it was so not hot. Not once because it was so hot. Yeah. Like, I didn't get to run through anything. I just literally just winged it. And I had a pretty bad uh, foot injury at the time. So I wasn't really intending on getting through, yeah. but uh, I think I still put on a show, you know? I was terrified of slipping off the bar because I wanted to just get on and do a, a giant. Cause I just, I'd got them in the gym. 
but I got on the bar and I was like, I up started, yeah. felt myself rip. I was like, fuck, <laughs> just go for it anyway. Cast it out, get on the kick bottom, and feel myself rip again. And I'm like, nope. Yeah, that's oh, not that's what you savage. want when doing giants as well. Like yeah. the yeah. last thing you want is to feel slip and like rip. I was so, yeah. I felt myself something off, but can I say that? Yeah, I don't care. It's, they're not what? gonna, they're not gonna cover that in the. What, the riffing? They're not, yeah, they're not gonna cover that in the Kings of Concrete, whatever. Yeah, they're doing like a documentary, that. right? I think so, I don't know. Sydney was traveling around chewing bits because you went to stay with Ellis and things. Yeah, maybe. So, I don't know if that's what anything to do with it. Um, yeah. Favorite thing about America or LA? Not Hudson's family. He can't, can't more more specific to America. Weird food. Oh, I hate, I don't know. Come on, something positive. I, I can't think of it. There's nothing positive about LA. Not even okay, the weather. No, okay. I sound like I actually just hate America right now, which is like kind of true, but like, <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I had a great time. I just, the thought of living there, mm, no, could not do it. And like, a, oh, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't. I could not live there, but I love it was a there. great, it was a great trip. And like, people were so nice, but like, yeah, yeah. just did not, I don't know. The, there was like a shop where you could get like wedges. <laughs> yeah. And they called them Jojos. And first of all, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. But they did taste kind of good, and that was oh, it. You want to get some JoJo's? Yeah, wedges like, can I get half a pound of JoJo's? Potato like, wedges. I've never heard that before. It was, it was, yeah. But they were like the only thing that I liked. All the other food made me want to vomit. Nice, nice. Like nice. I genuinely felt like. Given I was, that you eat fruit winders as a meal, I, I would have thought America was <laughs> right up your street. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, the Amer American food genuinely made me feel ill, like a lot of the time. Yeah. Right, it was, was too. What, what was your least favorite thing? My least favorite thing about America. Americans. No. <laughs> wow. All, no the, the most American audience is they now already gone. Like, I'm already kidding. I love I you guys. I don't. Them. I don't mean like the most American audience. I don't mean the parkour community of Americans. But like just being there and just like there were just so many times I was just overhearing conversations and just being like, what? <laughs> just like what? <laughs> like I speak English, obviously. But just listening to the, like overhearing conversations in like supermarkets and stuff, I genuinely just felt this like cringe. Cringe, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, they're gonna be so sad. I know. I love you guys, really. Just, I mean, you literally just said you hated yeah. them. You can't no, go back now. Like yeah. you said it I, now. Yeah. Okay, You're gonna fine. message me and be like, "Can you cut that bit out of the podcast? I was mean to the Americans." <laughs> no. Okay. I love Americans. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. That's that. Good night. <laughs> I'm really not half of my case here. Okay, let's um, yeah. let's just move away from before you keep while you dig your hole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, when's um a uh, bit a bit a bit of a coming? Bit of a oh, right, him. Oh no, the 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 girl. What's Zen. her name? Zen. Zen. She's coming on the second of August. Yeah, to and we're here, gonna. I think she's definitely coming here. Yeah. You're organising that. Yes. Because I have not had any contact with her. Yeah, so. no, I'm. I'll start it. All right, you heard it here first. We're gonna be interviewing uh. Sen Freeman. Sen Freeman. Seneca Schwartz. That's the name, Seneca. Yeah, okay. From, uh, well, I guess a lot of people now know from Queen City. Which, America. Once oh. again, if you still haven't watched Queen City, you need to also go yeah, watch yeah. Queen City. It was Queen City so is good. Sick, yeah. It's very nice. Um, See, I can't hate Americans. I like Sen. I, you, you like individuals out of a very broad <laughs> thing that you, you know. I hate, I hate Americans apart from one person. No, like four. People. Nice. Four people. I can say nice. I really like. Out of billions. Nah, no, okay. It's it's just America that I find weird. Yeah. So. Well, they probably find England weird. Yeah. yeah okay. Fair. But it's funny actually because normally I'm like probably the one shitting on something about America, but I now I'm scared. Like, oh, like, England's like, getting, like oh, becoming oh. just as bad. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, well, not just as bad. That's pretty hard. To <laughs> <laughs> get <the> difference, <laughs> <Jesus> Christ. <laughs> I'm moving this on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I. I love you, I swear. Where's your, where's your favorite country in the world? My favorite country? Yeah. Um, to like be and do things. I like, I really like Lisbon. I mean, that's, that's a city. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fucking idiot. You should ask me, what's your favorite country and like, where's your favorite place to be? So true, I'm saying true. that All right, okay, I really yeah. like Lisbon, which I was about to say is, is in, in Portugal. Portugal. All right, okay. <laughs> if you let me finish, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> Anyway, no, I really like uh, Lisbon. Like, I haven't been anywhere else in Portugal. 
You're um, moving to Be- wait. You're moving to Belgium. I'm moving to Belgium in September. That's very. But I've cool. only been yeah. there once, so we'll see how that goes. Nah, yeah. Love and sick. Like it's one of the places that. It's so it, sick. It, if I some if it was some other place I wanted to live, it would definitely be Love. It's Have just so cute yeah. and nice. Yeah. yeah, it is really cute. Have you sorted accommodation yet? I heard. No. I heard just, you're struggling. Yeah. We're like so we are like sh- kind of struggling, but we know that I will be living with Camilla. Which but be. that's yeah. because Nico said you were struggling because you were like had really high expectations. <laughs> like you were all wanting, I don't know, what was it like a an apartment, but all a room to yourself and like yeah. I don't I think know. I think Nico's ex- expectation of high expectations is not our expectation of high expectations. No. I think a standard expectation is like a bed, yeah, a bed, <laughs> a bed in a like a three bedroom. We just we just want a three bedroom with what, me. For two two people. No, me, Camilla, and uh, Louisa. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say. Um, we just want a three bedroom each with our own room. And that's, I think that's, that's the highest expectation. Yeah, that's what I want. I think that's pretty I guess standard. It's he said Leuven's like really expensive. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We so. found so many options, they just don't reply. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. We tried using a different profile picture. <laughs> Less crazy hair, maybe. You know, what? Like I haven't that. got a profile picture. You emails. Oh, okay. All right. Jeez. <laughs> Can't profile me like that, Giles. <laughs> Why is my torch on? My torch is on. Um, okay, so. You did something big recently. Yeah, kind of. I don't know if you didn't think what I'm... T- what, what do you think I'm talking about? I thought you were talking about the jam. I was talking about the okay, jam. Good. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Nice. Um, this girl jam. This girl jam. Where do you hold it? I held it in Sheffield and Rotherham. Good. How um, was it? It was really nice. Like, I was really happy with how it went. We, uh, this was the first year that we did competitions. Yeah. Um, last year was just a uh, jam. Like, we just threw it just to see what would happen and what could happen um and it was really really nice so then this year my main aim for it was to encourage women to try out competition and then give them a like safer more calm environment to actually try a competition that's not in front of a million people and yeah. intimidating mm. so that's what we did we did a skill speed and a style comp Sick. um and Overall, we had like in each category 15, over, like 15, 16 women. It is crazy, in the, yeah. like the rise in women in the UK, really, like in the last few years, because mm. it didn't, it felt like a few years ago that mm. wasn't attainable. Yeah. Someone came over from France. Really? I that's was like, cool. oh, that's I wicked. Was, yeah. I felt so much like, oh, so much pressure. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I was, I was really happy about with how it went. It, it was like in each category, it was the biggest women's competition we've had in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, Nice. I don't know, but I think Bridge Underground, the biggest division was about 10 or 12. Wow. Or Sick. I That's think, no, I think cool. that was 13 overall. I think the biggest. Skill, the like the skill comp this year at Nova was really cool. Yeah. Like, yeah it was yeah, a good, was, really good turnout. Really um, really what, so what, how, who set like the courses and, and so? I, yeah. So <laughs> I, I did everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> Regret that? No, I'm happy like with. I it was kind of overwhelming, but I managed to get everything done. Yeah. But planning a whole like event and stuff by yourself can be pretty yeah, yeah, stressful, of course. Stressful. It was multi day, right? Yeah, it was two days. So where do people stay? We stayed at uh, the gym. Oh, yeah, we had a, yeah, yeah. We had a big sleepover. Nice. It was very nice. Um, but then the first day we had the skill comp. Yeah. And the speed. Um, so the skill I'd gone out the day before and filmed like 45 challenges wow. <laughs> for beginner intermediate. I didn't film the advanced ones because if I'm filming like so many challenges of like just beginner intermediate, beginner intermediate I, was, I can't Knackered, be asked yeah. to be. The advanced ones had to actually like be advanced, like yeah. they had to challenge me, you know. Did, did you, did you uh, manage to complete all the advanced challenges or did you set some that were like- I set yeah. them, I, I would like, when I was setting them, I would just like attempt them being like, I, I think could probably possible. get yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And then I'd set it, um, and then all of the beginning intermediate, I filmed all of them, yeah. and then they were all uploaded to the Instagram, so that when people came, we went to different spots, they could just look on the Instagram, so that people See weren't at a spot and like, I don't know what oh, to what's do. What's the challenge? Yeah, 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 no. So yeah. it, it was there was there no you didn't have to do the skill comp, mm. but um, it meant that for the people who came and the people, who, especially if it was anyone's first time yeah. or like they just started training. I felt I feel like it's a really big thing. You arrive and you're like, I have no idea what to do. Yeah, yeah. And there could be some people who are already training and they're a bit too advanced. So you just mm. don't want to try that challenge. Whereas this way they could literally just look and go, Oh, I could try this. Yeah, I could try this. And then it meant that like 
so many people joining in the comp as well Sick. and we managed to like split it into beginner intermediate and advanced as well so that there was prizes for each one yeah nice, nice. who won uh that or those so beginner i think elora won who's i think she's i can't remember where she's from i'm so sorry intermediate sonia won from she's from scotland and advanced amy won from Sick. she's from manchester yeah yeah, yeah. nice um and speed hey where did you speed outside we did speed outside we did yeah. a street speed competition sick i st- i didn't make a post from it actually and then style uh danan one she's from new zealand she sick. didn't fly over specifically for yeah, it, but she that. made like a specific <laughs> trip while she was in the uk yeah, yeah, yeah. to come to it so yeah it was super nice and like just the environment that we had as well like no one really felt like they didn't want to compete yeah like, the only reason people didn't compete was like oh they got injured or something um but everyone was so open to competing and it was like if you especially if you just hear the sound like the, the sound on the videos as well when people are doing their lines everyone's like yeah go on woo yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously it's, yeah. It's, it's just like at, like the main it's, like project underground competitions except it's not like so loud that it's like you can't hear anything so like you can really hear people being so nice yeah, and encouraging yeah, yeah, yeah. and everyone like competed we had like someone who was a mum who was competing sick she was i don't want to assume her age but yeah she's got like a 13 year old yeah yeah, daughter, 12 yeah. Year daughter. um so that was really nice to see there was um there was another mum there called eliza she, oh, i love eliza right <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to this eliza love you but we had prizes that weren't just based on competition we had like just like cute prizes like the jammy dodger prize for someone uh, who just okay. makes a jam really nice oh <laughs> sick yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and stuff nice. like that we had a an i need friends award <laughs> and wow that, <laughs> that singling out the first thing that went wearing. that went to <laughs> that went to sana but that was an award for someone who just actively tries to make friends with everyone. Uh, okay. so, okay. It's so you just, didn't it's just, just single out the like, yeah, lonely yeah, yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The person it's someone who really, right? that was an award for someone who really just goes out their way Tried, just to yeah. make friends with people and make them feel really welcome. Yeah. Sana was like doing like, she was like getting people to do like lines with her and stuff and they were filming like double lines. I thought Sick. that was really cute. So she won that award, but nice. it was really nice to have so many, like so much support from uh, brands and stuff as well to be yeah. able to make prizes that are like pretty solid as yeah, well. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred pounds store vouchers, hundred pound motors, hundred pounds through media. It was really nice. We managed to just we we had a very good prize board. Yeah, it was really so well. Sick. Um, what did you like? I assume you'll do another one. Yeah. So hopefully, I'm hoping to do one in Belgium. Sick. I need to talk to Nico as well about that. But if not, we will be doing another one next year. Do you think it'll be in the gym or outdoors? I think it'll be in. Yeah. Uh, in the gym yeah. or maybe a mix of indoors and outdoors yeah. Yeah. oh they have got the outdoor section yeah they do yeah, 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 yeah good yeah, yeah. keeping it in one place um what what like thing did you sort of what what was your biggest takeaway that you sort of might change or do you know what i mean like from from the this one um so that you might kind of what what worked and what didn't maybe i think i was a little bit behind on i think i would have done the setting the skill co- like challenges maybe two days before yeah. I would have made sure my phone had enough storage um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's the main thing other than that I think it went pretty smoothly um, just like clean up like just the way that did you have like I assume you had other people helping you like kind of you know I mean, Elise gave a workshop which was really nice of her like like we made no money from the event yeah it's not a paid for event technically it's a donation based event to make it completely accessible to absolutely mm. everyone yeah, sick. so there's no if you are coming from france you don't have to pay extra to get in, <laughs> extra yeah. just to get in like if you pay what you can afford to pay we want to make it completely accessible so there's no reason that someone couldn't come um i think that's a really that's my main aim for this event because a lot of events these days are getting a bit pricier Mm. and for the aim of my event which is to promote inclusion and to really like inspire people to actually start in the first place there's no reason that this should be an event that people have to fork out a lot of money for i guess if like somebody's bringing their friend along who's maybe never done before and it's like 
why don't you just come and hang out? Like you don't have to compete or anything. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, like if yeah. it's you know fifteen quid, they'll be like, ah, I don't really want to spend it. It's like yeah, it's yeah, free. yeah exactly. It's like, the main aim of the whole event is just to get people in. Yeah, in. Yeah. So, um, so we make it a completely donation based event so that people can choose how much they want to pay, and then all the money that we raised, we raised about two hundred pounds, which nice. is very nice, and then that money will now be used to then put on like the next one, maybe. Um, whether that's to help fund people to get here, to help like yeah, yeah. maybe pay someone for a workshop if they if there's anyone that people really want to like learn yeah. from. But um, it was very nice that Elise put on a workshop for me yeah. for free. What did she do it for? Like what was it based on her workshop? Oh, she uh, did a uh, side flip workshop. Ah, sick. So sick. She's very good at them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I would yeah. not teach a side flip workshop. <laughs> but I did a landing technique nice. workshop. So... I went through like, this was before the skill comp. We just went through balancing, sticking, and um, then just did some like vaults and stuff. And like, yeah, yeah. just kind of went over some basic stuff that would be in the skill comp. So that was my workshop. So yeah, at the event you got two free workshops, days of training, sleep over in the gym, and then gym training. And Yeah, that's yeah. So nice. How did you do the skill comp in terms of, in terms of like uh, people, you know, taking off the challenges? Did they have sheets or? Um, so they, Basically, they could, if they wanted to, they could film it, but it's like such a small event. No one's really going to lie. Like, oh, okay. They, oh, they so you just, just went there. All yeah. the, on the Instagram, like every challenge had a label. Okay. Yeah. So once they did it, they just wrote it down. And sent oh, it to okay. Me. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, then exactly. I could just go through and tick off all the ones that they did. Yeah. And like the way I worked out beginner, intermediate, and advanced is like, the re I didn't say how I was working out before just because, like, if someone did want to cheat, they probably could. Yeah, yeah. But it's based like I take all of the um, scores and I look at how many of the beginner challenges people completed because the idea is you just compete as m complete as many challenges as you could, mm. and like the beginner challenges were worth one, intermediate worth two, and it was looking at like how many of the beginner challenges people completed in the first spot second spot yeah, and then yeah. clearly seeing like oh you completed all the beginner challenges you're, you're gonna be at least intermediate yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then it's like okay well if someone was able to complete like maybe six out of it the beginner challenges i assume you didn't gonna be complete. like no or like, i didn't did, no not complete <laughs> no. but like did you even get to like try some of the challenges you set for expert i did try i did try a few yeah and yeah. there was like some that i set for advanced that i, advanced, I had sorry. already done um but I joined in with the speed and style oh, comps, sick. but I didn't actually obviously yeah, let yeah, myself yeah, yeah. win. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I came third in the speed, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no, I, did, I just went for fun for the speed and style, like yeah. at the end, because everyone was like, Rachel, you gotta go. I'm like, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and then I put together like a last minute style run, just like. Lobbed it together, yeah. yeah. Lobbed it together, because I was obviously judging, but I just filmed everyone's and then, like, the ju it's because it's such a chill event, it's not like, judge, judge, judge. So for the speed, yeah. I just filmed everyone and then cropped it to, from when their hands touched the bar at yeah. the start yeah, yeah. to when they crossed the finish line. And then for the style, I just filmed everyone's and then just, it was like, it was pretty, like, to me, it was pretty obvious. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I love hearing stuff like this, because I think when I always think about, you know, putting on an event or anything i always go to like overcomplicated. yeah it's yeah. like oh fuck mm. if we're going to do a star thing we'd need lasers how much do lasers cost and it's like yes yeah. that's obviously nice and when it I, yeah. when it gets to like the, the pros then obviously people want to know that but it's like for your first event i can't remember we were talking to someone else about on the podcast about doing something and it's just like maybe ed or when i did one yeah i think maybe ed's because yeah, i held a comp as well when it it's gym. it's just that mentality of like it's so much better to start and do it a little bit rough. Yeah. Cause it's yeah. like obviously cropping on your phone to the time is not going to be, you know, an expert could be like, eh, but yeah. it's like everyone. The it's thing is there's always, because of like, there's not that many of them. It's not like two people are going to have the exact same time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there was such a w wide range of abilities there. Yeah. That, plus filming it on your phone means everyone, you get to film everyone and then you get more content to then share yeah, yeah. to promote the event. And it's just way better for events to start. But also it's, it's really accurate as well. If you can like get your phone and go straight to the so moment to that the they first contact, touch yeah. it, to the moment you can see like, 
because I filmed it so that when they came across the finish line, yeah, you, can, yeah, yeah. you can see it and you copy it exactly. Then you're gonna get almost a more accurate reading than yeah. if you're using anything else. Which means that like you could easily go out and do speed comps on the street, yeah. just like in your little town, set it up. Like absolutely, yeah, it's yeah, like we do yeah. need more little grassroots events just to start. For yeah, sure. and I mean, because some of them could easily like this could easily in five years time be as big as. NAPC or something. Yeah. Obviously, it would change along the way, but it's like it has to start somewhere. Yeah, right? yeah. There's no, you don't need a lot of stuff to be able to put on an event. That's what I have learned as well from putting on this event. While it was work for me, it's not, it wasn't like the end of the world. Like, it wasn't like I have to do this, 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 and this, and this. It was like three days around where I was like stressed. Yeah, the, yeah. It was so worth it. And it's like, I think a lot of people think like, obviously event i'm not saying events aren't hard work but i think a lot of people think that a lot of events need way more work than they do that's yeah. what i was thinking i was thinking of the um keeper jam yeah because mm. it was a similar thing like i mean obviously they, they put it a bit sort of to build in the build up and things but it's like they just started something and did it out on the streets and you went to that yeah well, right? yeah, 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 yeah yeah that was really fun so there's so many things like that that just need to happen and it's kind of i almost have to remind myself because it's i always put up those walls of like oh we can't do mm. that yeah, but, yeah yeah but, there's no like just if you're thinking about making an event, just send it. Yeah. Like, send some DMs to your mates, tell your mates to bring mates. Yeah. Do a couple of challenges. Sort you of. Better have yeah. mates, or else you're a bit screwed. <laughs> Where you get the get the friend prize or whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, or else you get the I need friends yeah. award. Um, speaking of, well, I just mentioned NAPC. Are you doing any NAPC for the love movement, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? I'm going to for the love movement this year. Yeah. Um, I wanted to go to NAPC this year, but they announced it so late that I could. It did feel like everything got announced crazy mm. late yeah, and yeah. all at the same time. They announced it so late that it was like past the point of being able to afford flights. Yeah, like I was hearing from people yeah. that it was happening, yeah, but same. I was like, I knew until it, I get I absolute yeah. confirmation. I wasn't going to book my flights until it was completely confirmed. Yeah. And then they announced on the same day as For the Love Movement. So I was like, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. For the Love Movement's back. And then I was like in a toss up, like, I don't know if I want to drop that much money yeah. on flights to America. And then I got a message from John Free Run being like, yo, we want to invite you to For the Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And then I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because I'd never, I've never been to For the Love. Really? really? Never. Wow. Oh, it's sick. Um, I'd actually only like... Blocky's <laughs> 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 face. <What? laughs> yeah. The shock on his it's face. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, but the last, the last one was like 2019 2019 yeah. and i just started training and yeah. i remember it happening and being like oh i kind of want to go but it was too, it was like way out of my price point and it was like i'd like looked back at all the old videos of it and i knew that it was like the big event but i'm not, I'm not i've barely been training yeah. so i didn't i didn't go quite an intimidating event for yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean I was an like, amazing event but like yeah a hundred three hundred people sleeping in a giant room is yeah quite, so um, I've never been, and then obviously, I, like, I know it's like I couldn't have afforded it, at, like at the time anyway. But then to be like get a mess from them, like, yeah, we want to invite you. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yes, Sick. I will be there. I where else will I be? I won't be at own the spot because I'm at Reading. Yeah, Charles. <laughs> yeah, we go to a festival together. Not like together, but me and <laughs> Keith. Well, no, I don't mean like that. But it's not. But it's not even like you know. I'm going with Keelan. You're also going. But we may as well all be together. Yeah. Okay, that's a lie. He literally put it in the group chat, being like, "Yo." Yeah, and you I'm already said you're gonna get tickets. Yeah, oh, I was gonna get tickets. I didn't. I plan who I was going. Rachel, with. I'm just trying to make it look like the 32 year old is not going to a festival with a 19 year old. You're already going with like a 21 year old. You miss far. He's 22. <laughs> yeah, but Keelan. Yeah. Yeah. I've been taking Keelan to festivals since he was a young whippersnapper. Okay, young whippersnapper. So basically, Giles, <laughs> <laughs> Giles and Keelan got reading tickets, and then they put it in the chat, being like, "Yo, let's all go to this together." So I was like, and then Sick. no one got tickets from you because everyone's just flakes. So but Travis yeah. is like, "Yeah, I'm going to go," and never actually bought a ticket. It's like, "Well, you're not going then." It's sold out. Yeah. Well. So. Okay. So basically, Giles doesn't like me anymore. So no, I do. Fine. It's just it's fine. I get Giles comp hates me. People think I'm a weirdo, and it's bad. And I watched the after movie, or whatever they call it. Giles, you are a weirdo. Like, <laughs> oh, you can't sugarcoat. I need like a wow. Well, no, no, no. Well. Loser! <laughs> <laughs> You're a loser. Perfect. No, wait, it's not. It's not. He's just overthinking it. Yeah, but I watched the after. They call it the after movie of like the last reading. And I was like, every single person in that clip is about 15. And I was like, fuck. Because yeah. no. I, I used to go to Reading when I was 15. I felt old at Truck Festival. Really? Yeah, no, just because it's the first one back in like three years. Yeah. Last time I went, I was 16. 
and then I'm, nine, I'm 19 now, I'm 20 and like, but like less the lineup is like, if you put Rage but, Against the Machine on the lineup, you're getting my age plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm but not the thing missing is, Reading is like, Reading is like, it's, it's tradition that you go after your GCSEs. So I yeah, did, yeah. so I did that, obviously. When I was like 16. Oh, chin the mic. <laughs> it's been so long since my GCSE. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, now like years have passed. I went to a chug festival and I was just in the crowd like, geez, yeah. I feel old. But the thing is, I feel like trust festival was either either 16 year olds, 15 year olds or millennials. And there was no in between. Truckers. Yeah, it was really weird. So I was just I there, bet like, there's a group of truckers I want to make friends, it. but no one seems to be my age. Obviously, I'm not going to make friends with like 16 year olds. Losers. 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 Loser. 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 <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to Reading, actually. Yeah, I really, really am. I'm, yeah. I'm slightly I've got, scared. I've got for the stuff in my car, by the way. Like all the Reading what, the stuff. drugs. Oh, yeah. yeah. All the gear. Tent. Yeah. Now I've got the tent in my car that we need Sick. to check out. Wait, are you going home before Reading? I'm leaving my Reading stuff here. So yeah, I okay. Can... And then we'll drive it off. Come back after for the love. And we've got early access. It's going to be great. We're going to have a great time. I love a festival. I just yeah. love live music. Don't I, Jordan? You yeah. just don't. I'm uh, so don't. excited for Bring With Horizon. I've never been in a mosh pit with Giles. Trust me, I have fucking elbows, fists, knuckle dusters. Oh, Knees. Knuckle dusters. Oh, Jesus. I've never actually been to a proper fe festival before. Like yeah. ever. Yeah. Mate, that's it's great. I got so punched dirty. in a... <laughs> I, do you want to, do you want to, do you want to, um, sorry, I'm interrupting you, but only because he said dirty. You can pay a little bit extra and you can get, get uh, like a private, not private bathroom, but you, you can basically pay a little bit more and you get access to a shower, a bathroom and a locker. And I'm Fancy. very fucking tempted. You are old though. So. Yeah, but like realistically, <laughs> like embrace the toilets yeah. are running horrendous. Oh. Actually, the thing is, Reading last year I was in white camp, but like at the very, very start of it. I actually think it was okay. Really? Yeah. I mean, I haven't been like. in over a decade, well over a decade. Jesus. Oh, like 15. Wow, you're not helping yourself here, Joe. <laughs> that's, the, that's the Jurassic Park theme, right? Hold on, I, I need to do some maths. Sorry, was it called White Camp? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just go back to that? Sorry, uh, for clarification, uh, at Reading Festival, they have different uh, camps and like, you know, Based by colour, they have orange, green, it's campsite, uh, purple, you know. red. Okay, yeah. cool. yep. um, like... But then one of the further away ones is White Camp. Yeah. Um, and like you... everyone shits on White Camp because it's far, like far walk. So why were you there? We had, we had so much space. Where are we going? I haven't thought about this. I haven't thought about this. I don't this think I've even paid for parking. Do I need to pay for parking? Yeah. Fuck. Um, but White Camp is really like close to the car park. It's actually chill. I actually enjoyed it. But, but we're going early, so we don't need to be close to the car park. <laughs> no, I say we send it to Orange and then just have a little shithole. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah! Orange. Oh. Orange All camp. I want to do is watch Rage Against the Machine, have a few beers, or maybe gin and tonics, because I'm liking my gin and tonics. You are liking my gin and tonics. And yeah, I'm bringing a camp chair. I'm bringing everything. I'm, I'm, you know my tent has like a little like... Porch. Vestibule. Yeah. I've written it's a list because I walked around Audi the other day and in, in the middle aisle of Audi, they have all the like, you know, there's just this, the, the, the chainsaws next to the kids' bouncy castles. <laughs> next to Should we bring a chainsaw? We could do. Yeah, nice. I know where to get them one now. But um, <laughs> they got couches, they got a little wagon, you know, the little wagon that we can put Oh no, in. We, should, we should get one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going really to go, go and go to Audi and go fucking ham. Anyway, yeah, nice. um, we're going to play a game. Oh, we are going to play we're a game. In, we're an hour and 12 minutes in and we need to actually shoot loads of photos and paint a wall. Um, we're going to play a game, <laughs> Rachel. Sorry. Well, actually, I'm going to introduce that because I want I want this as a good Instagram clip. We're going to play a game, <laughs> Rachel. What is the game we're going to play? And we're going to play. Is it a real comment, or if I just made it up? <laughs> and when you say comments, you're in reference to my Instagram comment section. <laughs> this is very exciting. God, here we go. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna list you're gonna say horrendous things, and we're gonna guess whether or not it is fake. You've made it up, or bloggy because he was helping with this or whether or not this is from the depraved mind of someone commenting on Instagram. Yeah. I'm so cool. excited. Okay. Yeah. Slightly scared. Have you, have you put their username as well so we can call them out? No, no. That would be no, so yeah. bad. That would be Imagine. so mean. Imagine so you're bad. listening to this and then they go, Did that, was that, that me? That was me. Oh, 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 oh no. Yeah, um, okay. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm looking for friends. I'm gonna say fake. Oh God. Real. Real. Come on. Okay. Oh, we need a score. Yeah, we need yeah, a score. score. Oh, wait, hold yeah. on. You can... I need a pen. Pen me. Pen you. Bloggies, bloggies. No, I threw Oh, good catch. He just right. fi he's picked up a thing from the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, one to Jordan. Okay, one to Jordan. Woman moment. Real. 
what do you say? Woman moment. Woman moment. Oh God. Real. Fake. Oh. <laughs> um. God. Uh. I'm convinced that women don't have arms. <laughs> fake. I'm gonna say fake. Real. <laughs> Fuck oh. it. I was gonna oh. say real, but the, oh, no, this is. The way you looked yeah. at Bloggy, I thought maybe that's one of his ones that he suggested. Make me a sandwich. Oh my god, that is savage. Um, I'm gonna say fake. I'm saying real. Fake. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're drawing. Okay. <clears throat> Marry me. Real. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've actually got like six marriage proposals in the last three That's weeks. That's insane. Does it count if it's over Instagram? Like, I, I think I, so. I think it's got to be on one knee. <laughs> Yeah. If they send you a video. Yeah, but then I can't say I've got six marriage proposals in the last three weeks. Because well, yeah, no one's exactly got one down on one knee and go, no, hello. They could do it via video. Oh, okay. Should I tell them to video call me? Yeah. If you're listening okay, to this yeah. and you want to get married to Rachel, get send her a video on one, on one knee. No dick pics, no nothing. On one knee and propose. And then she's allowed to make that claim. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Sick. Yeah. Okay. okay so yeah. um, so we're, draw we're drawing? Two, two. Yeah, two, two. Yeah. Oh. By the way, nice boobs. Real. Fake. Real. Damn it. Lord. Men are disgusting. It's the way you look at Bloggy. <laughs> the funny thing is, before this, Bloggy was sending Rachel suggestions on Messenger. <laughs> so Rachel's messages are now just full of like weird shit from Bloggy. I've actually like, got a oh, screenshot yeah, yeah. of Bloggy being just sending me a message like, that says like, but like, but nice, way, nice, nice, nice back. Like, nice bit, <laughs> like, nice bum. Say that. But it's still <laughs> obviously he's sending it as a fake comment but I managed to screenshot it before he put underneath being like that's a good fake comment it just looks like I got a DM from him saying that nice okay alright how much for foot pics real fake fake that was actually a yes. direct message so oh. it's, <laughs> it wasn't a comment it was a DM oh. so technically still fake Oh, no, no, it was a DM. But it was a DM, though. It's so real. I think that's real. real. Yes. We can go for that's real, if you want. Yeah, because it's something that has been sent to you. Okay, yeah. Jordan gets that one. Come on, but boys. That was a DM. Well fake, oh. would, fake would be, it never got said. Yeah. No, this is just worse. This is why women belong in the kitchen. Real? Fake. Fake. Yes. The worst part is, is the reason I'm saying fake to quite a few is because some of them sound too, like, stereotypically bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then yeah, some yeah, of them yeah, are. But at the same time, that's like, what I'd think some horrible people Yeah, but people some of them are real. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So oh. much respect for women. I wish women would, would pay attention to you instead of the abortion laws. Real. 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 Wow. I, do, I still don't get that Wait, comment. the women should pay attention to you. I have so much respect for women. I wish women would pay attention to you instead of the abortion laws. That sounds like they're pro-anti-abortion. And they're saying like, I wish women would watch you yeah, and be inspired I, by I you rather rather well. than care about, about abortion. Abortion laws. Yeah. Just an interesting I take. think, yeah, it's a very <laughs> interesting Weird. one. Please yeah. never comment on my post again and unfollow me, please. Um, I well, wonder if she could do it in a swimsuit. Real. Fake. Real. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> Hang on, these are comments, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. 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 The weird thing is, right? Is like writing a comment with a public profile. Like, if I if I just you know was on some, let's just say like an an Instagram model, yeah. and I went on, and I saw a comment from you, and it was some like pervy thing, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I knew you, I'd be yeah. like, that's oh, a bit, fuck yeah, bit yeah. forward. No, but that's changed my mindset a little bit because I, actually I, I didn't get the part that it was comments, and I thought it was just direct messages this entire oh, time. It's so, public. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, na that's because na that's going to change my answers a little yeah. bit actually. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That made my knees weak. Real, real. <laughs> real, real. Wow. wow. So bad. I mean, to be fair, they could just be saying- I th Yeah, I wasn't sure about that either, but It could then, have been on like a big roof gap and they're like, Ooh, Yeah, 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 I thought that as well. Just took a massive high drop. But then I looked at their profile. And, oh. with it. and I was just like, no, this is definitely not Let me just see if I can find this. You carry on talking. I got followed by the craziest Instagram profile okay. ever though. <clears throat> Gymnast. Real. Uh, real. Fake. Oh. Really? Look yeah. at this Instagram page that followed me the other day. Oh, wow! What? You, I'll, I'll show. I can't, I can't even tell. Why does that still say follow back, Charles? Sort it out. Oh my it's, god! It's pretty wild. You're attracting some. Like, yeah. Like, look at that. <laughs> I don't think I want to look oh at that, Charles. It's, <laughs> like, that's incredible. I can't. Show me after. Yeah. <laughs> now, I need to Photoshop your face under that image or something <laughs> like that. Okay. Uh, 
Hang on, what's the scores on the doors, Bloggy? So what's the scores so on the doors? Is that a saying? Yeah. Is that from Dots? Now it's from Bingo. Oh. Sorry, what? It's even. Really? really? Oh, wow. oh okay. okay. Should we do three, three, three more? Three more, yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Now I can add parkour girls to the list I didn't know I was into. It's true. Real. Real. That's real. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so comments are so. so un- yeah, I love the fact down. that you've written it out by hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my journal today, <laughs> this is my creepy comment of the day. Comments are just so weird. Like yeah. I barely comment in the first mm. place, yeah. and it's only ever just like sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like wow, or like that was fucked. To yeah. be like fire emoji, sexy thought. <laughs> I'm into that now. I'm gonna tell her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, weird. Why? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I'm a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You jump like a girl. Fake, fake. I want to say real. Fake. Oh, bastard. I think that was mine. Yeah. <laughs> I need a parkour woman in my life, not to date, just to push me physically. Real. <laughs> Real. Real. Yeah. I feel like the ones are just so out there that yeah. it's like, there's no way too, I came up with this. Yeah, it's too, too, too much detail. Okay, so Giles won that. Oh, we got one more. Um, oh, there's one more, right? One more, oh, yeah. one more. What, what, what are the scores and the doors? Oh, Giles uh, won ahead now. Yeah, one ahead, right. So Jordan with eight. You're Wait, both what? with eight. Oh, fuck. All right. Come on. Because oh, so you I was say winning. true, true, and then you kind of end up getting both the same answer. Yeah, yeah. okay, so like we're, on, we're on tiebreaker. Spectacular. ¿Cuál es la dieta? What does that mean? Para ser tan hermosa. Real. <laughs> what does this mean? Come on, you're not fluent in Spanish. In no, Spanish, I right? literally don't know. I heard spectacular. spectacular. What is the diet for you to be this beautiful? Yeah, real. 100%. Obviously. Real. Obviously it's real. Yeah, no one, no one's, <laughs> oh, neither of you two are writing Spanish out. Right, so I think Giles wins that. No, I, think we, I mean, technically, we, we drew that. Even. Both yeah. This still, is the problem. Are you still on an even? Yeah. yeah. Because you both are answering to each other. So you've got to be like, if you're saying yeah, he's got to be. Nay. Yeah. Okay, one more then. We need a one that's going to throw us off. Cool. The Spanish one was too easy. <laughs> Sorry. Your mum. Fake. I'm, I'm just gonna say real because I wanna, yeah. <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> nah, I just took so, one for the team there. Yeah, I was I gonna say like, fake. Oh, yeah. but, I feel yeah, like we yeah. did a good yeah. job. Yeah, no, we did. Like, we did oh, well done. There's so many more. There's so many more. I have so many written down, but for, I feel like for the point of long. game. You could make them like a little toilet book or something, you know, those books. I could read, read out, I just read out some weird ones. Damn, I'm so gay. What? Same. Was that uh, real? Yeah, that's real. Yeah. From, a, from a girl or? I think so. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, then, yeah, fair enough. Reasonable. Oh fuck Maybe. my heart. I think I'm in love. <laughs> in a respectful way as possible. The guys doing this kind of stuff are amazing, but seeing a woman do it really makes me introspect the point of free running in an intuitive level. What? <laughs> um <laughs> You know Jeep. screenshots exist, right? Yeah, I know, but I don't really want to be switching through my phone, you know? <laughs> Jeebus, the power of flow got me dead. Uh, that could, that's <laughs> monkey girl. Who says ah, Jeebus? Okay. Jeebus. Jeebus. Uh, what was that? I was like, um, mi corazón sigue reservado para esta bella dama. When did you learn Spanish? I've been doing Spanish from Duolingo for like six months. Wow. Okay. So what's that? Uh, my heart is reserved for this beautiful woman. That's quite nice. I feel like like it's weird, but it's like yeah. at least yeah. it's not yeah. like. I've got a throbbing heart. That's the thing, like, <laughs> yeah, British people will just straight up say that, whereas, yeah. like, I feel like a lot of foreigners or, pe- you know, people from different countries will be more like, oh, I'm so in love with you, you've got such beautiful eyes. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. someone, even though it's creepy someone still. It's someone, like, someone commented, <laughs> someone commented, girl, you rock. I literally would never write this to a girl, but I fell in love with you. I've been doing, <laughs> lol, I've been doing parkour for 11 years. <laughs> Well, they're probably listening to this. Their heart is yeah, just maybe. shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> Hello, oh, maybe beautiful. they're just like, yes! <laughs> Hello, beautiful. How are you? How is your day been, sweetheart? DM or comment? It's actually d- DM. Yeah, I was going to say. Mm. Two, two. Did you reply? You're like, you're right. No. <laughs> Not bad. Someone, what was it? Someone asked me to marry them on DM, and I was with Liam at the time. He just told me to say yeah. So I just replied saying, yeah, go on then. And then he messaged me saying, oh, okay, so do I just need to come to the UK then? <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, I think it was dead serious. You can get me a visa. Cool. 
Um, and then the last one was when he texts you his parents aren't home, come over. And I replied saying, no. <laughs> to which he replied saying, hey, a girl can climb up to a window with a boom box too. Meth is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that, <laughs> that was that's a, a different comment actually. Oh, okay. But no, that's a different different comment. Meth is a hell of a drug was a separate comment. But the one that's <laughs> was after I said no, hey, a girl can climb up to a window with a boom box too. To which I replied saying, I'm not a simp. <laughs> nice. 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 I didn't know what the word simp meant for many, yeah, many you months. Did, you you grounded, that's really. why. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm annoyed I missed the meth is a hell of a drug one. That would have been a great one mm. for the for the game. Yeah, is that saying yeah. you look like a meth head? I guess. Or is that just saying like, you know, you're... Someone also just put strange! <laughs> exclamation mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. See, most of my comments are just like, I didn't know you trained or like, go on, Giles. <laughs> I did have a weird one the other day, which was, oh, you look like you're on Temple Run. <laughs> That's oh right. God. Which I was just, I mean, it's not creepy in any way, but creepy. it was a bit strange. Yeah, I used to slay. I'm pretty certain at one way, point uh, I run. had the world record for Temple Run <laughs> on the iPad. Did you play Subway Surfer? No, that was also wicked as well. I just had it on my iPad and it was like, because it was bigger, it was a bit easier. Yeah, you had a bit more leeway. Yeah. And fuck me, I like had I game. millions of points. <laughs> like, so I'd just be on it. Just bah, yeah. bah, 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 bah. So sick. Um, <laughs> nice. Aaron 25, you got anything else you want to say? What's up for the rest of the year? What are you doing? Um, well, after moving to Belgium in September, I oh, guess I'm yeah. just, um, I'm excited to be working there, but I, it depends on how my visa situation goes. And that, that will depend on how many events I manage to get to. Uh, because you can't. My yeah. visa is looking dire at the moment because I spent a whole month in Sweden, so it knocked a lot off and then I'd already been on loads of trips before so I think I have like oh because you can only spend so long in mm -hmm. yeah I think I only have like thanks Brexit 25 yep. or 30 days left wow but to be out of the country to be out of the country yep. to be in the Schengen area so I can I'm gonna go to for the love but then I have to obviously move to Belgium and then it depends like how they sort my visa if they can do it in time or not but wait so if you move to Belgium can you only stay there for like 25 days? No, I've moved to Belgium. I have to get a work visa, which I'm applying for now, which okay, is an absolute yeah. pain in the ass. Yeah. Um, but my dad's doing a lot of it. Nice. Thanks, Angie. Um, I'm, he's really so, uh, me. I'm so happy I didn't have to do a full lot of shit, like pre-Brexit. It was just yeah. so nice. Like, yeah, yeah. it's very just jealous. Just get a flight. And then <laughs> Foggy last night was like, how hard is it to move to Holland? And we were like, you probably should have looked at doing that three years ago. Yeah. Pre, pre it's Brexit. So, oh, so, so difficult. Yeah, yeah. That's been taken. I'm like, I literally have to like fully tell the government like, hey, I'm really good. Please let me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, we're just yeah. waiting for them to see us. Yeah, what do you even have to put on it? Like what questions do they ask and what info do they need? Like, I just had, uh, I had to do like a whole like business plan because I'm applying for a self-employment visa okay, yeah. to be able to like, and I'm like, putting like all this inclusivity like program yeah. on there so you basically got to say like you're you you're a sort of driven good person you got to yeah, sell yeah, yourself yeah on it. i really have to sell myself That's so interesting on it. and then it's like yeah please let me into your country i promise i'm not gonna yeah i've heard musicians anyone. like have to do that for like going to america and things mm. it's like yeah they have it's to cause it, it, they can't just be like oh my band's really big it's like they have to sort of say that like they bring value yeah, yeah, yeah. i bring value of women yeah i mean you can see host <laughs> events and stuff you can yeah but I, that's, stuff. that's one thing that's like on my thing as well saying that i'm gonna bring disco jam and i'd be like leuven yeah. makes stella and stella is beer and i'm good at drinking beer so <laughs> yes. may they so make better in. beer than stella true but, yeah, but yeah. i just know the factory's like round the corner yeah, i don't is, actually yeah. like beer though so i don't know why yeah. i'm moving to belgium you'll like beer in belgium holy oh no i oh. don't oh. I've, I've i've walked past that stella factory and it actually smells like dead animals Wow. Yeah, but that's Stella. That's why they've got proper craft beers of like twelve point five percent of. And I hate. I'm also the same. I hate beer. It tastes like piss, right? But these beers, these craft beers, are just delicious. Nico yeah. came to the UK and then was like shocked when he found out that we call it like a wife beater drink. Oh, Stella, Stella yeah. Oh, really? And then I was telling him like we literally have these chants that are like, I would rather have a Stella than a wife. Yeah. <laughs> I would rather have a Stella than a wife. And he was Wait. like. What? <laughs> we went to the pub and the the like the waiter guy was like oh, asking yeah, us what yeah. drinks we want and he was like. Oh, I, I recommend this one. It's um, it's a four point five. He he basically referred to a four point five as like as being strong, a strong. And the Belgians literally were like, "That's not strong." Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking? About? And then and then the, the way I got a bit defensive and was like, "Oh, but I mean, it's strong for like an IPA or something like that." And we were just like, "No, 
no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you've ever seen in England. Like, that's not strong in yeah, general. Yeah, so funny. Have some juice. Have some apple juice. Have some apple like juice instead. An American beer. Like yeah, that's so very strong. Hey, yeah. Americans. My Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> No, let's not get into the topic of yeah, Americans with Rachel, right, please. I'll just end the podcast yeah. now. I um, love you all, Americans. Yeah, we need to uh, shoot, Promise. don't we? We need yeah, to crack I on. I need to tra- shoot tra- myself. Like, oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to repeat the comment you've made about your shindig or wanted to do a shindig earlier, but yeah. Can I just say, wait. What? what? When Bobby was talking about a shindig, Rachel was like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I no. don't recall. She just said like a really depressing comment that made me feel a bit sk- sad. Hey, oh. no, it was a joke. Yeah. It was. Cool. Okay, people are confused now. People are going to know what it was. You said an excuse to actually feel something for once. Oh, and I was wow. Like, I was like, oh, Rachel. <laughs> it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> and then, I, then you were like, feel what? And I said, your mum. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. You took it. Yeah. yeah. So, moral of the story. Have a shindig. Have a shindig. Have a shindig. Yeah. All right. I need the toilet. And to paint and to photo and to photo. I need another banana. Oh, it's already four PM. We're fucked. Yeah, we are fucked. We've got no so much to shoot. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I've enjoyed this. I have not. Rachel's gonna be around for a few weeks, I think. Yeah. A little while. So we'll be doing some cool shit. And yeah. apparently we're gonna do my makeup and dress me like an email. Oh girl. yeah. Wow. Get ready for that. Yeah. Wait. I apologise for being Charles a terrible is, Charles replacement is turning of Keelan. In, Charles but, yeah. is turning into an emo girl. I'm oh, very excited. Get ready. Can Get we ready. can we can we establish my look for Reading? Okay. And then at Reading, like, and then you know, every morning I mean, at Reading. The thing I'll... is, because I've because I've brought all of my Reading stuff here. Yeah. Because I have to leave it here for when I come back from for the love. I've got all of my Reading outfits, which are like pretty emo little Wait, little emo girl ones. People have outfits. Yeah. Mate, you're going to be dressed up in spandex looking all... I mate, if I'm, short, if I'm going to be short. passed out in the middle of a field, I want to like, look good doing I wanna it. I want to wear shorts and a t-shirt and watch Rage Against Machine. No, you're going to be wearing a cute little black tutu with a little black top and your eyeliner done. And then Daisy's going to find those photos. <laughs> oh, like, God, he can't happens. do it. Yeah, Daisy's going to need a new dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, oh, get Daisy. ready for Giles, the emo girl. Emo ranger. All right. Yeah, exciting. Yep. Love you lots. Peace out. Bye. Bill, oh, Bill. subscribe all that box. Yeah. 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 Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.